everybody, and good evening, afternoon, or morning, or whatever time of day it is in your part of the world. I'm Max Scoville, and this is a video from Destructoid that you're watching. Um, I know I told you guys I was going to be making videos for Destructoid, and so far I've been very bad about that, but as you can see, we have been renovating the studio a whole bunch. Look at these things. It looks like we're on the set of a Nickelodeon game show. We've got cool green lights and this funky soundproofing brought to you by Nerf. Uh, I wish I could say this is the final setup of the studio, but it is probably going to change more. I'm currently shooting this very video on a webcam. It's a nice webcam, but it's still a webcam. So please, pardon my dust, but I really just wanted to start kind of churning out some news. Who knows, maybe the next one will be in my kitchen on an iPhone. I don't know. Uh, and before anyone says anything, if I sound funny, it's because we're still trying to iron out the sound stuff. And also because I have a cold, which is why I'm wearing this little hat. Also makes me look like a burglar. Anyway, uh, to run down some fun, exciting, cool news that is happening in the world of video games. Let's start with probably the best news just ever, all the time, just at all. Fallout 4. So if you've been paying attention, there is this fun website called The Survivor 2299, which everyone is pretty sure is a Fallout 4 teaser site. It's counting down to a mysterious date, which is December 11th, I guess, and no one knows what the hell the significance of that day is. But it is counting down to that date, and there's an annoying Morse code noise that's been going on. And if you if you know Morse code, then you know it started out as something rather benign. Then it, it's since been turning into uh, distress signals or distress calls from Vault 119. If you've been translating the Morse code, uh, and they're talking about security breaches and people dying and all kinds of scary stuff. And then just yesterday, this wonderful new string of garbled code showed up that I'm sure someone on Reddit will crack in no time, as well as the subheading "Nuclear Winter Has Come." So. Either this is some very ambitious Game of Thrones fan fiction, or, you know, it's a nuclear winter setting for Fallout 4, which would make a whole lot of sense. Uh, now, the fine folks over at Reddit.com have been doing very hard work in spinning conspiracy theories and analyzing the facts and uh, checking stuff out, right down to apparently picking up uh, pirate radio frequencies in the Boston area. Uh, they have been doing their homework very well. There's this whole Google Doc up where you can go and kind of Take a look at what they've been doing day by day, all this mysterious code breaking. Put a link to that in the video description below, so if you want to go check that out. It's, it's very exciting, a lot of fun. The thing that's odd and also, also worth noting is that it's counting down to December 11th, but the VGX Awards, which would be the most logical time for Bethesda to unveil a Fallout trailer, are, are happening on this Saturday, which I, is it the, the 7th, I think? Now, while we're on the subject of speculating things, uh, a rumor has come by way of ZDNet that Microsoft is working on a brand new UI overhaul that would be coming to not only Xbox One, but also Windows 8 and Windows Phone called Threshold. Let's go with the boring nomenclature of Surface. Um, but this would be uh, apparently sort of, it would unify all the different interfaces and have, I guess, shared app purchase. Again, this is totally, totally just rumor and Microsoft has declined to comment. And if, in any case, if this is supposedly going to be happening in spring 2015, so we got some waiting to do one way or the other. Um, now, still on the subject of speculation, because this is the week after Thanksgiving, and really, there's not a whole lot of news. The same wonderful fellow who went into the very code of the GTA 5 Beach Bum DLC and pulled out some wonderful tidbits hinting at possible horse racing and gambling and casino stuff and, I don't know, new characters that were buried in there, which kind of alludes to what might be happening in upcoming, you know, paid DLC, uh, has gone in and found, I guess, the kind of user-created user maps and game modes stuff. So he put up some videos of that. So if you want to see what it looks like to, you know, design a level in GTA V, well then, there you go. Here's an exciting rumor while we're talking about some hard-hitting news. Um, this comes by way of some, an Amazon page for Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, which shows that Cranky Kong's on the cover. So. This would seem to suggest that he's in the game and is possibly playable. I don't know. But if you like playing as old man monkeys in your video games, then I guess get excited about that. I, for one, am excited about the name Tropical Freeze because it sounds like a refreshing treat. Now, because we are kind of uh, spiraling down this hole of just tiny snippets of news, here's one that excites the eight-year-old in me. Uh, EA has registered a trademark for Desert Strike. If you're unfamiliar, Desert Strike is an old game for old systems where you play as a helicopter in the desert and you shoot some stuff. I enjoyed it as a child, maybe you did too. If they make a new one, I'm guessing it will be running on Frostbite, that engine that they use for everything. I'm Max Gola for Destructoid, and if you'd like to read these news stories in more coherent, worded fashion, I will put links to all of them in the video description below. 
Uh, until then, you know, say hello in the comments. I'll say hello back. You can follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to go get a lozenge. I'll see you guys around.